Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Brown Beauty Abroad, where I talk about beauty for brown skin abroad. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse my voice, um, I just recently got over Omarion, so yeah, so my voice must still be a little... Alright, so today I'm taking you guys on a tour of VS Line Clinic. So, I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of little skin tags, little moles in my face. I'm going to include a close-up of that so you guys can see. So let me show you guys the clinic that I got it done at. It was at Via's Line Clinic. And actually, for all of you who saw the Bonobagi clip that I did, this is the same doctor that was at Bonobagi. So he had left Bonobagi last year and I spent literally a year, like a year straight, searching for this doctor, seeing where he went. Because number one, he speaks English. And number two, I could tell that he cared more about the patients and the procedures than whoever was at the front desk. Because usually the people at the front desk, they just are kind of, um, yeah, they just want to upsell you. <laughs> That's their whole benefit. But this doctor actually cares is going to work for your face. So finally, after like a year straight of searching, I found that he opened up his own clinic in Upgujong called BS Line Clinic. This is next to Apkujong Station Exit 4. So it's a little bit on the back alley. And you will see that it's on the second floor. VS Line Clinic. Brown. So you go up and of course they have a great lobby area as any Apgujong clinic would. And when you go in for a consultation, they actually have a mini refrigerator back there. So don't be shy to go ahead and grab yourself a little coffee latte, some water. They have a few different beverages over here. And also if you are a VIP customer, very important person, they have this side room over here to the left. So like they said, it's for people who come frequently or maybe for their um, no upper echelon clientele. It has its own uh, dresser, bed, vanity, um, its own place to wash up. Pretty much anything that you need is in this little private section. I think it has its own mini fridge in there. And you could also see that there's like an IV drip there. That's not for, you know, you got into a car crash. It's not for that. It is for uh, cosmetic purposes. Some of you guys might not know that you can get IV drips for like brightening or for like your immune system, not just because, you know, somebody forced you to get it. So stay tuned for that. I might um, try some of these experimental, I mean, they're not experimental, but experimental to us. I might try some of these cosmetic IV drips and I'll let you guys know what happens. Maybe they can do something about my lingering congestion. So here I am talking with the doctor right before my procedure and then heading off to the dressing room to put my stuff away and go get changed. Here we have the dressing room, complete with hangers, a robe, and slippers. Wow, wow. you can really remember that. Wow, you can remember that. And then like do that and stuff. <laughs> So here we have cleansing gel and milk cleanser, so whether you're oily type, dry type, they got you both here. 
We have eye and lip makeup remover, hand wash, hand lotion, sunscreen, Q-tips, like pre pretty much everything you need to get set up, they have over here. All right, now here I am in the back room just getting my before shots done. After that, we are off to our first room. So here I'm laying down on the table because I also did an ab machine workout. So stay tuned for part two for that one. Yeah, if you were like any taller than 5'9", you might not fit on the bed. So about 20 or 30 minutes later, it is off with the numbing cream and into our first procedure. So here I'm getting the moles taken off of my face and they give you a cute little stuffed animal that you can squeeze. If you do a higher intensity, does that make it better? Yes. That's why you, uh, we ask to do it frequently so you get used to it. Okay. So you can do a higher energy. Okay. So, please tell me what you want to get rid of. Alright, so, um, like, definitely these, like, around my eyes. Interact with deeper skin tones? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't really matter which kind, which skin it is, because it, what it does is just cut, cutting off those skin areas. So it basically just cuts off. So, like those moles and freckles, it will be just get rid of it. Just will fire out. Really? got wet you need to get um you, you can change mm -hmm. but please take this uh for like one of the three days 
So like don't wash my face for three days? No, 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 no. You can wash, but uh, there's get rid of it. Or if they get wet, mm -hmm. you can uh, clean with a different one. So please dry this part. Okay, so keep it dry and, and clean okay. for three days. So then when I wash my face, should I just avoid the bandages? Uh, you, oh, you can't always wash it and you can put on soap and then everything mm -hmm. will not um, take it off. Like it will not just fall off. Mm -hmm. but, but when it gets wet, I should change it for a dry one. Yes. Just for three days. Okay. Will I uh, get a pack of these bandages? Oh, uh, yeah, you can get it. So as you guys can see, I have a mosaic of stickers on my face. So he said that we got about 30 of these. Oh, let me take off my mask. So um, he said that these are $10 a pop. So I got about $30 worth of lasers off. Um, if you guys come and do this and if you have moles around your eyes, uh, make sure they put the numbing cream on your eyes because um, the places that did have numbing cream versus didn't, they, they singed a little differently. So yeah, I'm gonna have these on my face for a three days, and he said that they should be totally healed after three weeks. So I'll check back in with you guys, and uh, we'll, we'll see what's hiding underneath these bandages. And now it's been a good, like, maybe three weeks since I've got the procedure done. As you can see, my face is nice and skin tag free with no hyperpigmentation. All right, so thank you guys for coming on this tour with me to VS Line Clinic, but prepare to see a lot more because I'm in love with this doctor and his wife who just had a baby. Congratulations, Dr. Jung. She also speaks fluent English. So number one, this is a clinic that I trust because I already trusted the doctor beforehand and now his, I met his wife and she's fantastic. Two, it is in Apgujong, I already live in Gangnam, so very convenient for me. And three, these doctors actually care and are willing to listen to the concerns of melanated skin. And because of that, I'm gonna go to this clinic and try literally one of everything that they have and report back to you guys on how it works. So if you are excited to see about that, in fact, I think I'll put a little, little preview of the next procedure. Contracting my muscles for me, um, it doesn't hurt, but it's... As you can see, we get fun up in here. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me on here. As we can see, this is the after. You guys saw the before. I'm looking forward to more procedures. All right, everybody, catch you in the next one.